Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jonathan Coates. And in today's free AI training, I'm gonna be talking about DBGPT and giving you a quick little overview and a rundown. And I'm gonna show you how to install it as well as sharing some of their unique features and benefits. Now, in order to get started, you can come to the quick starter guy here and they give you the whole step-by-step -step breakdown. You can use Miniconda to go ahead and start with Python as well. And they show you how to deploy it. Now I'm going to go over that in a little more detail later in the video. I really want to talk about exactly what it is and give you some of the benefits of using it as well as how you can use it to help you be more efficient in your life as well as secure and protect your data. So DBGPT is an open source AI native data app development framework with agentic workflow expression language and agents. The purpose is to build infrastructure in the field of large models. The development of multiple technical capabilities, such as a multi-model management, text to SQL effect optimization, RAG framework and optimization, multi-agents framework collaboration, agent workflow orchestration, which makes large model applications with data simpler and more convenient. In the data 3.0 era, based on models and databases, enterprises and developers can build their own bespoke application with less code. So here's the interface right here, and you can get a web UI as you can see. So let's talk about some of the main features here. So in short, it's a development framework designed to bridge the gap between large language models and databases. It offers a comprehensive set of features in order to streamline data and analysis. So let's get into some of their features. At present, we've introduced several key features to showcase our current capabilities, private domain Q&A and data processing. The DBGPT project offers a range of functionalities designed to improve knowledge-based construction and enable efficient storage and retrieval of both structured and unstructured data. These functionalities include built-in support for uploading multiple file formats, the ability to integrate custom data extraction plugins, and unified vector storage and retrieval capabilities for effectively managing large volumes of data. Multi-data source in GBI, which stands for Generative Business Intelligence. The DBGPT project facilitates seamless natural language interactions with diverse data sources, including Excel databases and data warehouses. It simplifies the process of querying and retrieving information from these sources, empowering users to engage in intuitive conversations and gain insight. Moreover, DBGPT supports the generation of analytical reports, providing users with valuable data summaries and interpretations. Now let's go back and look at their architecture here. So th this is the architecture right here and the core capabilities include RAG, which is retrieval augmentation generation, GBI, generative business intelligence, fine tuning framework, data driven multi-agents framework, which offers a data-driven self-evolving multi-agents framework able to continuously make decisions and execute based on data. Data Factory is mainly about cleaning and processing trustworthy knowledge and data in an era of large models and data sources, integrating various data sources to seamlessly connect production business data to the core capabilities. So back to their key features here, when they're talking about multi-agents and plugins, they said it offers support for custom plugins to perform various tasks and natively integrates the auto GPT plugin model, which I made an entire tutorial on. So I'll be sure to link that as well. The agent's protocol adheres to the agent protocol standard, automated fine tuning text to SQL. They've also developed an automated fine tuning lightweight framework centered on large language models, text to SQL data sets, LoRa, QLoRa, P turning and other fine tuning methods. This framework simplifies text to SQL fine tuning, making it as straightforward as an assembly line process. So, and then they link to this, it's called the DBGPT hub. So I'll be sure to have this in the description as well. So in order to get started and you're able to get to the point where you have this web interface here, where you're able to basically navigate. Now, if you pull any of these up, they, you can get a closer look. Actually, let me just zoom in real quick. So you got multi-model management, GBI, RAG, which stands for retrieval augmentation generation, text to SQL optimization, which can translate natural language queries into efficient SQL code accurately. And because it's a multi-agent framework, this allows it to be able to enhance task handling between collaborations collaborations between different agents and it facilitates the orchestration of agent based workflows. So some of their additional features include data connectivity, observability, agent plugin system, prompt, prompt generation and optimization, a multi agent platform, as I was saying, multi agent support, which which makes it compatible with the web and the desktop as well as mobile. So this can help you to improve your efficiency by automating the task and optimizing your query performances. You're able to improve your efficiency and you can increase your productivity by allowing it to accelerate data analysis and insight generation. And with this, one of the biggest draws for me that 
brought me to it is the data privacy and security. It ensures data protection through local deployment options and is very flexible. You're able to adapt to various database scenarios and business needs. So primarily due to its focus on privacy, control and flexibility, it's what makes it distinct from other models such as like private GPT, which I haven't got the chance to make a video about, but I'll, I'll try my best to get to that. And some of the key differentiators when it comes to privacy and security, you got local deployment and there's no reliance on external APIs. So it ensures your data remains within the organization's control, which helps to mitigate data leakage risks. And because there's no reliance on external API, this reduces dependencies and any other potential vulnerabilities. So let's talk about how to get started. If we go to the left hand side here of their docs, and I'll be sure to leave this in the description. I'd really want to bring this to your attention, and just show you how to get started. Just click on, on the left hand side where it says installation and they give you an entire guide here now. DPGPT provides a wealth of installation and deployment options supporting source code deployment, Docker deployment, cluster deployment, and other modes. At the same time, it can also be deployed and installed based on the auto DL image. So I'll let you choose any one of these options. You can get started from there. If you click on source code deployment, all you gotta do is just clone the uh, GitHub repository. For those looking for a more straightforward approach, their cloud hosted playground allows you to explore the capabilities without having to deploy it locally and worry about installing or doing any type of setup. So I'll be sure to have this in the description. Just go right here to the installation and you choose what type you want, whether it be a Docker deployment, Docker Compose deployment, and you can get into the different applications down here, like the data app usage. I'm gonna to try to make separate videos covering each one of these different sections right here as well as the getting started tutorial. They have a lot of information that I would love to just make different videos about chat data, chat XL, chat DB. So let's go back to chat Excel real quick. So you're the user and you want to analyze users. So you upload an Excel spreadsheet to DBG and you can use an LLM and the database and data handler to accomplish your objectives. And then you'll give you like a graph right here with like the data visualization and the data collected from this whole process right here. And then you got chat DB, which is to create professional database experts positions, LLM as DBA who can complete database perform performance analysis, optimization, and other works by talking to the database. Currently, ChatDB only has some basic capabilities which can be gradually enhanced with the iteration of the community. So as you can see, they go into great detail here. And again, I'll, I'll make separate videos and all this stuff. I really just want to show you the whole purpose of this video specifically is not only just bring it to your attention, but give you an overview and clear up what I, what exactly it is because there's a lot of confusion around it. I just want to show you their web UI and just show you really how simple their and intuitive their application is. And just the whole purpose of it is just to help you become more efficient and increase your productivity. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really excited about this because this is a whole another world in and of itself. And I'm just now getting started. So I would love to share my journey with you as I go along. This is the first video that I'm making on this subject and I'll be sure to keep you posted if I so happen to choose this one out of the other options but so far this looks to be the best all right so that pretty much it for the video i hope you enjoy it if you like content like this then i highly recommend that you subscribe to the channel i talk about everything when it comes to generating traffic and increasing sales and be sure to take a look at the tools and the resources below i have everything that i included in this training as well as the github repository here and again you can clone you can clone oh, let's go up real quick you can clone this and go ahead and get started so in order to do that you just click on this and then you click on make sure you're well, you choose which one you want and then you can copy it right here. So HTTPS or C or or this GitHub CLI clone that or you can even download the zip and get started that way. And then also they have an installation right on here, but they link you right to this page right here. So I'll, I'll be sure to have all of this in the description and be sure to take a look at the AI checklist. It can help to help you boost efficiency and creativity It's completely free. It's right in the description. You'll see it. All you got to do is you push your name and your email address and it'll get sent right to your inbox. All right. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoy it. And with that said, I will see you in the next video. See you then.